There have been some great tickets in the past. Roosevelt and Truman. Kennedy and Johnson. Eisenhower and Nixon. And now you can add to that list the Honorable Difford and Tilbrook. Chris Difford and Glenn Tilbrook first achieved considerable success on the Squeeze Party platform, but now they've gone independent with their new self-titled LP. Their clever lyrics and sophisticated melodic touch has elicited comparisons to other great tickets like Lennon and McCartney, Zaremba and Strang. We got it. associate Squeeze myself with being younger. Um, I think Squeeze enabled me to prolong my adolescence until I was 25, which is, you know, it was uh, a lot of fun. When Squeeze came over, when we went around in that little Chevy van, whenever we'd hit town, Miles would go to the local radio stations and say, take that Rush album off, take that Grateful Dead album off, play this record, you know, and really shake everybody up. and. Um, you know, we sort of went around playing to people like new, the new music from Britain as it was then. And uh, it was very exciting. It was a fun band, but there were certain points beyond which Squeeze couldn't grow because as a unit it was a democracy. And uh, a democracy is as strong as its weakest parts, I think. And the weak part of Squeeze was the fact that we couldn't agree on very many things. So it sort of became the lowest common denominator working, uh, working against us. And that worked for us for an incredibly long time, I think. I left my home in Georgia Headed for the Frisco Bay Different and Tilbrook to do is to uh, deal in more adult subjects of uh, songwriting. The whole concept for me to be a writer and to be in a band is to have the to to constantly be uh, infused by ideas, and uh, if that that was something that I didn't feel, I wouldn't bother doing it. I'd do something else because I don't think there's anything worse than musicians who, who create a kind of atmosphere that isn't really there and try to drag it through the mire for the rest of their careers. I kind of find that a bit boring. So if you don't see me again, it's because I'm not infused. Looks like nothing's gonna change.
always worked in the same way, actually. We've been, we've been writing together for 11 years now, and uh, we stumbled on the best way of writing for us, in that Chris was always stronger with lyrics, and I was always stronger with music, so it felt fairly natural when we tried writing a song together for both of us to concentrate on those areas. And pretty soon after we wrote our first song, it, Chris gave me a lyric and I put a tune to it, and that's exactly the way that we've always worked ever since. It's always lyric first, followed by a tune, followed by either rapturous agreement or heated discussions, all, all according on the, you know, how both of us see the song. We disagree about some things like all people in relationships do. Um, but every time he sings a lyric that I've written, it, it satisfies me to the end of the world. And uh, he constantly surprises me in, in the melodies that he can conjure up. And that's why we still stick together, I guess. That's the, the bond that we have.